Welcome everybody, here's your Strategy Wolf and welcome back to Victoria 3 and our Mexico in the second episode. Last time we just won basically the Battle of Alamo, occupied Texas and crushed their independence movement. The question is for how long or when the big blue one here is gonna get uh, more involved in that one. Uh, yeah, that's gonna be one of the most relevant decisions of our further game, but let's, just, uh, let's see. At the moment we still have to do a lot of other things. Uh, the Age of Codillo is fired, so there's something we have to have a look at. And also we start the first construction and getting our entire country set up for the future. So yeah, um, before we get right in, if you haven't read, it would be amazing if you leave me a like and a subscription so you wouldn't miss the next episodes. Also, it gets me motivated and so forth, you know, how this works. So thank you very much for that. Uh, and yeah, you'll be noticing noticed whenever a new video comes out. So this is going to happen uh, if you look at my channel every Tuesday, Thursday, Saturday and Sunday. So uh, not Victoria all the time, but yeah, check out my other place if you haven't yet. And yeah, so much about that. Uh, back to the, the content. Um, I also don't want to lose too much time before we get in. Um, check out our base, the first video for you. Check out the first video or it, especially my intro where I talk about games and so forth. Uh, one thing I didn't see or didn't talk about in the about the mod at first was this one. Select educational focus and I haven't tried it myself. Uh, just now quickly how it works. So if you want to read that uh, here, I find always these, it comes from the mod, but it's like he tries to explain it quite nicely, but I feel like it's always hard to read these uh, explanations or a lot of times. So basically what happens, we have, I think this is the zero is a vanilla um, paradox standard educational focus. And I do understand this basically as some kind of our influence on the actual education. So what is going to be taught? And we've got like basic first options on regular um, education where in this case, um, as far as I understand, basic effect is half with an educational focus. So the normal education one attracts still a lot of academics, but not as hard as the basic vanilla one where I feel like academics are boom correlated to intelligentsia or not which is not always fully true, of course. Second is we have some um, yeah, production um, thing, like some production education where these kind of groups would profit. And then we've got uh, weapons and a military one. So let's just fire it, um, have a look. So we can pick one now and we can do general research new production methods. So we, you see you get also a bonus on production research speed or the same for military. Um, how it costs extra bureaucracy and so forth. And since we are absolutely doing a um, society at the moment, uh, I go for general education. Also, yeah, this is what we're gonna do, even though Intelligentsia is quite mad at us right now. Um, hopefully we can change that in the very future. Um, how, I don't know yet. Well, quite interesting, um, yep. Actually, something looking at the um, interest groups right now, something we could do right away while doing this, since they don't like us very much. We could go ahead and... And I think I will do that, even though this is going to be financially... Could get quite challenging very soon. We'll go ahead and get the landowners concessions, which means we get 50% only of the agriculture and plantation and logging and ranch tax income for two years. Uh, Miguel Baragan gets some um, popularity. He's not dead yet. Historically, he was dead already by that point. Um, and also the rural fork plus the landovers get some bonus. So we lose the... Um, so basically, it costs us just 30% tax income, actually, because we lose that one. And also we'll get here the... Um, yeah, okay, extra infrastructure and secure the honest work. So I feel like this is some a good deal we can do at the beginning. Let's see. On the long term, we need to make them happy differently but yeah let's do some concession concessions and get them out and then i will jump in already so we have to observe how this is let's get going on on speed three i feel like this is fine uh, unfortunately we're not getting the extra influence right away yeah it cost us 6k basically yeah we're also ramping up our construction so maybe just two for the moment and then some uh, maybe this one a little bit later some logging first so we get also some of the extra woods and maybe the gold mine also yeah so i don't want to run too early into that debt or trouble of course i'm kind of a fan of that yeah or what it means fan of that I, i'm happy to 
let's be a little in debt and always have a small minus because if I can reinvest it, why not, you know? But for the beginning, you've got to be careful, especially if you don't know the country that well, as I do not know Mexico that well, that far. But once again, it's also my blind let's play, basically. I haven't played them yet. So it's going to be interesting to see. Talking about that, and I mentioned it already in the beginning, I had some thoughts on the situation with the US Americans. How are we going to handle that? I mean, they're very antagonistic right now. Are we rivals? Not, No, not really. Do they have already their claims? Can I actually check this out on... Um, diplomacy, diplomacy, I guess. They do seem not to have any claims right now on these territories but I feel like they will get it with the um, this destiny yeah, you guys know Ben <laughs> you know there's this the, what, what is the phrase called manifest destiny exactly this kind of journal entry or event that relates to this marching west to this very picture where you see America lying the telegraph cables and so forth to the west we even learned this in school in English class so <laughs> quite a big one uh, even in Europe so I feel like with these you get the, the states will get some claims over here and I fear to all of their current states. So Texas, New Mexico, Arizona, California. And of course we could try to get a massive army out to match them and keep them. And I will to some extent, but always, yeah, it's going to be tough to probably really withstand them in the long term. And at the same time, I really would like love to also trade with them since potentially the United States are going to be with their nice production areas like quite industrialized uh, considering our geography we're probably facing some difficulties building up a high let's say big industry we would rather go for the agricultural stuff and so forth with some in flank by some industry but yeah to get massive amounts of steel or tools and so on in our market it might be very useful to trade um, heavily with the states since we also don't need any uh, wouldn't need any convoys so yeah, SK is in the long term. Uh, long term would love to have actually excellent relations with them. <laughs> Probably if they have claims, that's not possible. So what are we gonna do? I don't know. In some kind of scenario, I see myself seeding in my head. I see myself seeding the Midwest territories and keeping Texas and California, especially California, is really really a juicy um, province. Of course, now the population is super low, and I also don't want to. Okay, we have got some Serbians coming here. Interesting. Is this new? Oh yeah, to Oregon they've got uh, Bulgarians. Or here they've got Serbians coming. Interesting, to Washington, Oregon. So, also some are going to California. You're very much welcome. However... Yeah, I don't want to invest too much into California right now. This is something for the future. We shall see. But, um, yeah... This is going to be one of the main, let's say, foreign politics questions we're going to uh, encounter in the future. Alongside... And this is the next one. How about making them actually here, down here? Central America, what's up with you guys? We want you to... Um, make you a vassal, make protectorate. Okay, we need to be higher type than Central America. What the what the schnitzel? They are like forty, and we are forty-one. How is this possible? Do we have to upgrade our troops at Hussars down here, maybe? And I feel like maybe Ejercicio de Operaciones under Antonio Lopez Anna. Okay, this makes sense. Um, let's slightly strengthen his. Army a little, little bit in some time. All right, and then these guys down here should also be strengthened a little bit. But okay, we need to get romantic and some prestige out, I guess. You guys are more the Central American army, I'd say. Some artillery. Uh. Okay, come on. I, I give you also some riders. It's fine. A little bit of a solid army. And we shall see. Um, also in preparation for any further... Yeah, they have got 11 battalions, we've got 12, okay. Any further conflict... Oh. Whoops. 
Not distracted, get distracted by my explorer. And let's have a look at this here, actually. The progress bar will change by plus three. And yeah, we should. Yeah, we don't, kind of don't, well, we talked about it last time, right? But we kind of don't want them actually in. And actually also just reading the gold mines over here. I will build a gold mine. Oh no, it's gold fields in the beginning. Scusi. Um... The Caudillos. We want the armed forces out of government. It is almost impossible since but ba I kind of I don't know. Like he's he's still wounded, so maybe he dies soon. I but I still feel like the armed forces, or maybe it would become Anastasio Bustamante or uh, Antonio Lopez, who will become the next president in such a case. Um at the moment I, I barely see any combination. Let's I can show it to you guys where um say a classical conservative one not possible uh there's no clear alignment so basically i see no chance of bringing in a kind of a acceptable government without the military um so maybe we've just got to prepare to have the military and government and the age of cordillos in because um you see what's gonna happen the armed forces get a massive strength and permanently i don't know how to get rid of this actually in the end <laughs> um, yeah, this is quite massive, but this is the this is would be the way to avoid it. Um, but I don't know how to be honest. Yeah, well, uh, we've got an event over here. The popular playwright endorses reform. In the midst of the debate surrounding per capita taxation, one of the country's leading playwrights, strongly associated with the Catholic Church, has staged a widely acclaimed play whose politically laden theme makes no secret of the author's desire for the law to be passed. The man's viewpoints may be somewhat partisan, but sir, you cannot argue with his prose. Um, I'll go actually, yeah, you get add a pop interest or an Eggman success chance or prestige. And I'll go for prestige since um, we just talked about it. I'd like to climb up here. Are we? Did we? Did we? Uh, there's still a minor power. Um, since I'd love to um, vassalize these guys. But apparently uh, still need to rank up a bit to do so. I don't really know. Okay. Patronize Romanticism. I think here we can get out with Romanticism. We should get be able to get out some prestige. So actually I'll build an arts academy down in Mexico City. And we've got Caput Mundi Mexico. Okay. This is something... Caput Mundi World Capital, <laughs> okay, for you guys if you don't know Latin. Um, this is basically a new modifier that uh, Max brought in with the with the, with the the mod that created a lot of new modifiers. Oh, I didn't see that here is uh, the cotton belt that explicitly strengthens ah, plantations, okay. You see it here on the map, a lot of modifiers, provincial modifiers that get some extra, I would say, spice or interest. Uh, I, I like it really a lot. And some of them are these... Um, world capitals for mexico apparently i also i feel like constantinople this istanbul has some of these modifiers but you have to earn them first and therefore yeah we great power yeah and then cash reserves up and in the or urban centers and 25 urban centers so this is a long term goal i don't expect it to be unlocked very soon all right tunic technologies we didn't research in the napoleonic warfare Napoleon revolutionized warfare, emphasizing the importance of properly utilizing artillery. Yeah. Shooting at frozen lakes, according to the movie. <laughs> yeah. I haven't seen the movie, but I'm ranting about it, of course. Um, yeah. So nice. I know. Okay, these guys. Let's upgrade them. Get some nice artillery out. Um, field works, logistics, blah, blah, blah. And we've got lathe unlocked. The lathe is a machine for rotating a piece of material, be it metal or wood, so that it can be easily be machined into the desired shape. Alright, can do we have anybody that profits from that? I think so here. Definitely the die shops. The, the furniture for sure. Yeah, I would say nevertheless. Leaded glass. Questions we don't have lead, right? And now we have a problem with tools. Do we have lead? Can we build lead? Yeah, we can. Um, 
any preferred area where we should do the lad. Agriculture. I mean, the state construction efficiency. Oh, it's the same as in Chihuahua. Okay. So I feel like everything, same down here, everything that we don't want to build, like agriculture wise in the mountains, we should rather put down in the other areas, like Chihuahua over here. And I think I'll already, uh, I'll, I'll put one of them up after the port, I guess, and after the. Yeah. So when that's done, we can switch to leaded glass and, and check it out for the first time. Um, and what was the last one? Furniture, glasswork, textile mills. Yeah. So we're gonna keep this open. And something I realized was that the tools got quite expensive, right? And also I'd like to help out with this a little bit. And maybe build a tooling workshop, extend our tooling workshops in Mexico one stage. So we've got a good supply of tools. Let's have a look at our current market. Ooh, yeah, we need more imports. Okay, go, then let's get it already from the Americans. Maybe they like the idea. I also use imports sometimes or trade a little bit as a political measure, you know? And ooh, you see, ooh, whoa, whoa. wood got really, really expensive time for us to really extend this. To be honest, maybe I should focus then on actually the logging camps first and also... Did we build some iron mines also? I highly think so. And also the mice, we have very expensive still um, situation in terms of food prices. And they build way faster than the... Um, they build way faster than the, the, fa the fabrics, the, the nah, factories. Um, we didn't build any iron? Okay, sick. Then we also should do that in, to some extent. Okay, and here we have plenty of options for iron mines. Then I feel like Vera Cruz or uh, not here. Like here in the lowlands would be smarter where we have better production. I rarely build why these menus down here, but I feel like sometimes it's also quite helpful. So Vera Cruz, Sinaloa, or Sonora, I think. Let's look at the population. I feel like Vera Cruz, yeah. Let's build five in general, but um, quickly get just two up. And uh, over here, I'll also they should not be prioritized. Maybe one of them. One after the logging camps. Okay. Let's keep it going. And you see, with the increasing prices, um, our yeah, relaxation on the the agricultural taxes and so on. Our income already went to the negative, which we still have a lot of gold reserves, which is absolutely fine. And minus 900 is nothing, so absolutely okay for us. However, we have to have an eye on that. Whilst our... Yeah, do, do, actually, do we, I think it was kind of a compromise that we went for per capita indexation in the beginning, which grant us apparently 3,700k uh, more per month. Good step, so we are. We could get another construction out again. I feel like in the beginning, it is always some balancing around and trying to find the, the sweet spot. As yeah, we also need to balance out, of course, our politics. The intelligentsia is not really happy at the moment. Why is that actually? Strongly oppose a lot of things. Can we... No, we cannot. He is already... I, we moderated him already, I feel like. Nothing to do about that. And what I want... Okay, we have got a lot of authority out and I would st still get a greener grass campaign and actually for California. Uh, maybe also for... Oh, we already have it down here. Uh, so, yeah, if case there's some Serbs coming, let's populate it. Why not? The upper strata have decided to donate generously to the poor. Many among them even advocate for the per capita taxation law, agreeing that it would be a fair means of redistributing wealth. We have so much and they have so little. We are still wealthy even when we give generously. Are you really going to miss a few thousand pounds? Think of how little that money means to you and how much it could mean to a starving mother and her children. 
Yeah, encourage charity. <clears throat> pardon. Ensure encourage charitable giving. Or leverage the support for per capita taxation. Yeah, we already are above 50%, so I'm happy to get some... Yeah. To help out the lower strata a bit, that's good. Tools import shortage, okay. Load the holes and get some more in from the Danes, okay. Fresh and highly, highly priced and marketed products. <laughs> uh, let's see if we can actually then sell other things properly. Yeah, we should. I feel like with these agricultural goods. It's always good to, yeah, it will cost us a lot of bureaucracy, but if, to go on export mode, it's good to feed, let's say, the markets early, even though here with the British it was a little bit uh, not really positive. But by doing so, I feel like the new trade routes grow over time and we'll make more and more money on that. So it's, and, and we have, we are the first one in the markets with no competitors, so I'm happy to establish some of them right now. But I guess with Danes especially, that's not going to last super long. Yeah, what are we going to do as fabric wood? Whew. Yeah, there's stuff to do. Let's get some French tools as well. Okay. Let's see where we're trading. Where we trade without any success, then... And these ones we can... For Venezuela... With the great powers, I want to keep those, especially cannons and men of wars. We're not building ourselves in weapons, so I guess they don't have to be really um, profitable. The revenue is not really bad, so we can wait if this to keep make this yeah, go higher. Mass communications, extra authority, bolstered impact. Oh, yeah, mass communication is the easy spread of information utilizing technology such as the newspaper. What a surprise. And stock exchange spreading, very nice. Um... Makes us speed up a little bit over here. God, does this port take long? Yeah, our building capacity is very limited. But the port will allow us, give us more infrastructure here. So, Guerrero is put, nicely connected. We don't have one right now, no? No, also for the immersion, I feel like this is the going to be the Pacific port of Mexico City. And... Yes, that's and nothing. <laughs> and also, I you know, and we need more convoys since we just started exporting more and more, and we're slightly in the positive. But if we want the route to grow, we definitely need more uh, uh, harbors anyway. So yeah, something we gotta do now. But is it really the priority? It takes so long. Actually, no. Sorry, guys, this was maybe a little bit of a waste. Uh, but I will put the port, yeah, here after the mice farm. So let's get first. 60 weeks, holy. And you know what? Before we do that, that is construction efficiency. That's the problem. That's really not great. Let's get another construction sector out then. In, even in the risk of getting more, uh, yeah, a higher deficit, but I don't care. We need to build a little bit faster. They rivalized us. by bank road by the Prussians, okay? Weird. All right, and we've got the stock exchange unlocked at least something. An organized market where stocks and bonds can be bought and sold. Uh, the stock exchange is a central element of the modern market economy. Seems like it. We've got a plus market access price impact and uh, lower bureaucracy cost for trade routes. Very nice. New laws. And we wanted to do this to also go to corporate charters as well as banking both of them are pretty really, really helpful here we get a new company out let's do corporate charters first this with these technologies this, this will really help us a lot to um, also get push out a little bit more of construction uh, offices to get our uh, yeah build up speed it up a little bit more since we do have not the smallest, let's say, human um, potential. Oh. Oh. 
We do even have a claim down here on Chapa, so we could go ahead and say return. So for 1.5 infamy, how much is the state to conquer it? Guatemala 12. Why? Oh, yeah, but conquering it is really, really heavy. I would rather really like to subjugate it to making a vassal and annex them later. Question is also how much the US are going to be like great powers would get involved, of course. Okay, here we've got a southern planter at the moment, John Calhoun. Yeah, maybe I wait for like, these um, foreign moves also a little bit until my relations with the European powers down here improved significantly. Guys, we don't even have a consumption tax out, I just realized, and we've got authority left, so... Let's tackle it this way. Tobacco, we want to export this anyways, not smoke it. And services are for the moment the other things are just, I don't want to tax the baseline things are gonna be taxed so we've got a plus already very nice and um, to do to speed things up I'm gonna get more construction out yeah and even one more I think um, so Zacatecas okay. or two in Veracruz also Let's see how we gonna how how easy we can uh, take these um, extra costs, and if we can really take four more, or if we other otherwise we speed some of them up. Actually, I think. Yeah, we, otherwise we are long running out of wood. This could be really a problem. Let's we shall see. But we also get the extra when we get the per capita uh, capitalization. Uh, Taxation, capitalization, and we should get some more money, so I'm at the moment optimistic for that. Uh, here we can just increase colonial growth, but as you see, uh, we, have, we have passed enough. I really don't care too much about getting them in. Are these states? Yeah, they are states, actually. Texas. It's, no, they are, it's a colony, colony, colony. Nevada is a state, okay. Nice. Don't have to do anything about it. Oh, also here we've got an infrastructure problem. So also then let's at least build one port later in California. Manuel Baragan still in charge. And watch about the Cordillo thing. Slowly progressing, yeah, yeah. I kind of feel like we have to wait or see how this would display after the death of Manuel Barragan. This could be a ch uh, game changer. We're t now we're 25, they're 38. Still, we're both minor powers, right? So I cannot no, not make them our protectorate. Are those already protector of the Brits? Yeah. I mean, if they break up to certain small pieces and we can do it one by one, it's also an option. But um, yeah, then every single diplomatic play bears the risk of um, getting a major power involved. And this is one of the things that I really hope for. Like one, Victoria got so much better, in my opinion, with the last update. I really enjoyed a lot now. But I would hope that the next update with the sphere of influences and so forth would bring a little bit more of a consistent and expectable, or not necessarily expectable, but you know more uh, like a behavior where you un like understand the AI or nations in getting involved in conflicts or not or for realistic interest um, yeah things they can get out of it incentives the play for power uh, okay um, and uh, Anastasio Bustamante the leader of the land Overs, has made a remarkable play for power in the capital in order to secure a spot for land Overs within the government however it is not entirely clear if they should be rewarded for their novel tactics there are only light in the street has that led, leads to Landover's headquarters. There's also one light inside. There, Anastasio Bustamante relaxes among the sumptuous mahogany, mahogany furniture and velvet cushions. The lamp is identical to those that have been sent from the east. The ends justify the means, and our means are very, very justified. It's difficult to not believe him when he offers an inviting seat by his side. Hmm. 
Hmm. So, the problem is in this case, I really don't fully understand the mechanics of what would happen if he dies. My thing is, of the long term, I don't want to strengthen them. We want to, I told you, I wanted to have more of a, a happy hippie Mexico. However, <laughs> for the beginning, they're quite useful to have strong, not too weak landowners, and maybe it would be nice to get against the Caudillo, so landowner in. Uh, and I guess if he dies, he might be the next president because they have the biggest strength. However, I don't want to strengthen them too hard. Okay, I'm going to do this because they're not going to the negative with the minus two. And I hope they're going to still be the biggest group. Let's see. And uh, <laughs> No, guys. 0.1%. 0.2%. If this is really the case and he dies now, this is gonna be a curse. Then we deserve the then we really deserve the Caudillos. I mean I could strengthen them or weaken ours, but nah. And with a little bit of luck they're growing sooner or later again. We've got to observe that. Let me know if you have a clue how this succession works in case our president dies. Um by the way, he lost his woundedness, so it's actually not that we got reserved an extra character health, so He's being more successful than historically where he's been like that for a year already. So Santa Ana needs needs some time. He's not really getting in charge as, uh, as the historical figure he used to be. However, let me know how, if you know about the succession, how it works in detail. If you know, thank you much, so much for that. Thank you for watching because I also think this is a great moment to end this very episode. So yeah, leave me a like and a comment or a subscription if you haven't yet, as I said, and uh, let me know what you think about it, what you want to see. Your ideas are very much welcome in the comments. So thank you so much for that. And then see you just in the next episode when we continue in 1837 with our Mexico. Bye, your strategy wolf.